Hey everybody, how you doing? I am excited here like you would not believe. Uh, this is a this is a big day for me right here. What you were looking at, obviously you've seen the thumbnail. I got 241 replicas right here, solid silver. Uh, I'm friggin' jacked. But before I go into the unboxing, I have a note I want to read. Uh, these are from some very special people. These are from Tristan, or T-Man as most of you know him. T-Man's dad and stepmom, uh, Dave and Kia, uh, they wanted to send me a gift, and this is what they sent. Uh, now, this envelope, I've never, I've never seen anything like this before. I don't know what this is. It feels like, like it's definitely some sort of paper, but I don't know. It must be like homemade or eco-friendly paper or something. Uh, Dave and Kia, if you're watching, please mention in the comments uh, what this is. Uh, before I open this letter on camera, I just want to make sure there's no personal information on it. I just want to make sure it's available to read. Okay, and it isn't. Hold on. I'm going to fold it. They left their address at the bottom. I'm going to be I'm going to be sending them little gifts. So I asked them to put their address in there. Um, all right, now I can show the letter. Uh, first thing, before I even read the letter, I just want to say this. This is the most beautiful handwriting I've ever seen. I, I've never seen anything like that. That's really nice. Uh, very nice. Uh, mine looks like a doctor's. This is, this is very nice. Like, is that done with a fountain pen or? Huh, that is amazing. Okay, sorry, I've just... I'm just looking at the very nice handwriting. Thank you, Mike. We really appreciate you and your friendship with Tristan. Uh, you do a lot for the community, and we are grateful to know you. Uh, have a wonderful holiday and everything nice. Happy and merry everything. <laughs> Kia and Dave. Uh, uh, thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, when I was, I was very close with Tristan and... Uh, you know, I'm not the only YouTuber that was either. Uh, Owen was also very close. They got to meet up uh, quite a few times. But uh, me and Tristan would talk on the phone for hours every week. Uh, we, were, we were pretty active uh, with each other and talking all the time and things like that. And, uh, you know, what what an amazing gift. This really, really touches me in the heart. Uh, so now the only problem is deciding which one of these we're going to open. Uh I want to use one right away. I have other silver Zippos, but I do not have anything of this caliber. Uh, I have like solid silver armors and everything, but the 41 is the classiest lighter. Uh, me and T-Man would talk forever about the 41. So you're going to notice the numbers on here match the numbers on there. Oh, sorry, I'm not even showing them to you. 28287. Sorry, 58287, 23 replica, high polished sterling silver. So these are the high polished ones. These ones are a little more expensive. Uh, you can get the brushed ones for cheaper. Okay, so the guarantee comes loosely. Oh, they still got the guarantee though. I love that. Because I've been getting them from Zippo.ca and this, I just want people to know, this is gone. This isn't in any of the paperwork. Like this nice little image with the guarantee, it's not in the Zippo.ca ones anymore. I don't know why. Uh, I hope that changes. And then we got the pouch. Uh, like I stated in my other video, I think the pouches have gotten a little bigger than the earlier ones. My other one used to, I was way smaller than this. It seemed. It wasn't as big. It just fit in there so tightly. Like, see how much wider it is than the Zippo? Like, it's almost as wide as the entire box. Uh, the original one I had for my original armor was only as wide as the Zippo. It was very small, and the lid barely closed over it. Uh, they definitely did change the pouches, but I lost that pouch. I actually don't know where it is anymore. I have no idea. But I don't even I don't even use the pouch anyways. Oh man. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't even Oh, this thing's in there pretty good. I don't wanna like I don't that's the one thing I don't like about these luxury boxes is it just jams right into the into the thing. Like this is so hard to get out. There we go. Okay. All right, and for silver, they don't put the sticker. They don't put the sticker on the on the thing, on the Zippo. They put it on the bag. I'm just gonna throw the sticker out. There's no reason to keep it. Usually, you notice in my videos, I'll take this out. 
I'll put it in there. I'm not doing that with this one. I really don't care. That's just mark on the bag. What? Are you joking me? What the hell is that? The sticker was on the friggin' thing. No big issue. All right, there we go. Back to normal. All right, so once again, once again, there's no natural light down here. I'm using LED lights and this and that. You can't see, like, this ring is silver. But you can't see the true beauty of this silver. My camera's just not on a little gunk on the back here, too. Hold on. There we go. Seems to be some sticky gunk all around this friggin' lighter. I've never seen that before. <sighs> never seen that before. That is so weird. All right. Anyways. Back to the basics here. Look at this. A little dirt on the front there. So we got it. Lid opens all the way, obviously. 41 insert. What do we got? F21 doesn't match the case. H21. Oh, August 21, 1941 replica. Sterling. Bradford, Pennsylvania. You could see the O was a little screwed up on the stamp. Very common on all silver Zippos. Anyone who gets a silver Zippo and notices the stamp's a little screwed. Every silver Zippo I have, the stamp is a little bit screwed on the bottom. I don't know. It's something to do with silver being so soft. Uh, I can't remember the exact reason, but I emailed Zippo years ago when I bought my first armor. And uh, they, I, I was worried that my armor was a fake Zippo, so I even sent it to them. I sent them pictures. The lady said it was fine. I was like, I'm sending it in. <laughs> I sent it in, and they said, no, that was authentic from the factory. It's just how the thing goes. So you'll notice it's all silver. Look, you can see the date stamp in there. That's weird. Oh, man, what a beautiful light. Friggin' brand new high polish, though, man. Holds those fingerprints like you would not believe. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take my everyday carry right now, which is this 41 Custom. I rock a double torch. I rock a double torch Zorro in there. This should... Oh, yeah, fits in there like it was meant to. Oh, man. That, that looks actually really, really sharp, too. The gold with the silver like that. That looks very sharp. And what I like about the Zorro insert, wid, lid doesn't wiggle. It will only close completely flush. Got that four-barrel hinge just looking sharp. Man, what a nice lighter. Uh, but like I said, when you get the high polish, though, man, your fingerprints, as soon as you touch it, <laughs> as soon as you touch it, it's all over there. Oh, man, that is beautiful. Okay, so now we have to see... We have to see what the what the other one is. I cannot live my life without knowing. I just want to see the date. Okay, I also want to see if it has the same mark on it too. It does. It has the same sticker mark on it. So this one's a C21. Oh man, I don't... Whew. I've never had a, what is that, March? Man, I don't even remember the last time I got a March Zippo. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, but I'm not going to be opening that one right away. This one's mine. I'm going to be using it. It's got my son's birthday on it. Uh, T-Man and my son were the same age. Uh, so, you know, it's hard. And I know T-Man would tell me, use this damn 41. You know, he'd, he'd, be, like, <laughs> he'd be like, they got it for you from me for you to use because like he knows how i am i just put this away and never use it and me and him have actually talked about this before uh and he definitely wants me to use this 100 percent, he wants me to use this all the time and i'm going to i'm not going to be afraid of it i'm going to use it i don't care i wanted to use it i love the 41s they're one of my favorite zippos solid silver man silver is my favorite thing uh, for anyone who doesn't know, silver can only be made when a star explodes. It's called supernova. <laughs> you know? So, you know, it's kind of hard to get silver. Uh, 
Now, silver is more abundant than gold. That's why silver is cheaper than gold. But, you know, if you can debate what's better. I think silver is because it's the highest reflective metal. Like, just look at that beautiful white glow. Like, that is just... I don't know if you guys are picking it up like I am, but, like, you can see in the custom, like, see that dull metal color? That's chrome. And then look at that. When I just turn at different angles, you can just see... You can just see the light capture that silver and just brighten it right up. Uh, I'm very disappointed, though, in the fingerprints I've been putting all over this. I feel like it's ruining my video just having all these fingerprints on it, you know. Uh, but that's what it's meant for. This thing's meant to use. I'm not keeping this one uh, just to sit around. A T-Man would not want it that way. I'm going to use this as an everyday carry. Uh, and the reason why they sent me two is because eventually down the road, I'm going to be giving one away. It'll be on T-Man's birthday, December 6th. It's already passed and I have a Zippo. I haven't made it yet. I have uh, come down with COVID and I've been sick for a week and it's like turned into like some sort of lung infection. It's just, uh, I've been bedridden. I've been pretty hurt. I haven't been able to do anything, but I'm trying to make T-Man's custom before Christmas or after Christmas. Sometime during this break, I'm going to be giving it away. Uh, just a regular chrome custom I'm making for T-Man. And then down the road, I'm going to get gold plating solution and I'm going to put images on these. And I'm going to give one away. That's why uh, they got me two. One for me, one to give away. Uh, so everyone down in the comments, you can thank Dave and Kia for the one day when I give away the solid, other solid silver 41. So uh, that's not something you should thank me for. That's something you should be thanking them and T-Man for uh, because that was all by their doing and their divine intervention oops hit my camera <laughs> all right everybody so i guess i'll just end it there and uh that's how it all goes uh thank you very much dave and kia i really appreciate it that was amazing uh actually you know what what kind of friend would i be if I didn't light one up for T-Man. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> All right, T-Man. Love you, brother. Take care, everyone.